The birthday hat. We'll use yellow yarn. Wrap the yarn around your little finger and then bring it up to index finger. Pinch the yarn tail with your thumb and middle finger. Working into a magic ring, make a loop around your middle finger and pinch the crossover of the yarn with thumb and middle finger. Insert hook into the loop on middle finger. Yarn under the hook and pull up a loop. A magic ring is formed on the middle finger. In round 1, start with a chain stitch, ch, and then work 6 single crochets, sc. Finally end with 1 slip stitch, ss. Work 1 chain stitch, ch, first. Then work 6 single crochets, sc. Remember to mark the first stitch of every round. Continue to work 5 more single crochets, SC, in the same way. Six V shapes on the side stand for six single crochets, SC. Pull the yarn tail tight to close the ring. Remove the marker and work one slip stitch, SS, in the first stitch to join this round. The slip stitch, SS, serves as a connection. It is not counted into the number of stitches. Round 1 is done. In round 2, start with 1 chain stitch, ch, and then work a set of, 1 single crochet, sc, 1 increase, inc, for 3 times. Finally end with 1 slip stitch, ss. Work 1 chain stitch, ch, first. Work 1 single crochet, sc, in the first stitch. Mark the first single crochet, SC. In the next stitch, work one increase, INC, which means working two single crochets, SC, in the same stitch. One single crochet, SC, and one increase, I and C, are finished. One set is done. Keep working two more sets. The second set. Work one single crochet, SC, in the next stitch. In the next stitch, work one increase, I and C, which means working two single crochets, SC, in the same stitch. The third set. Work one single crochet, SC, in the next stitch. In the next stitch, work one increase, INC, which means working two single crochets, SC, in the same stitch. Three sets are done. 
Remove the marker and work one slip stitch SS in the first stitch to join this round. Round 2 is done. Pay attention to the yarn's tightness during crocheting. If the yarn is too tight, we can't insert the hook easily. If it's too loose, the fabric will be out of shape. In round 3, start with a chain stitch, CH, and then work 9 single crochets, SC. Finally end with 1 slip stitch, SS. Work 1 chain stitch, CH, first. Then work 1 single crochet, SC, in each stitch. There will be 9 single crochets, SC, in total in this round. Mark the first single crochet, SC. Continue to work 8 more single crochets, SC. Nine single crochets, SC, are done. Remove the marker and work one slip stitch, SS, in the first stitch to join this round. Round 3 is done. In round 4, start with one chain stitch, CH, and then work a set of one single crochet, SC, one increase, INC, one single crochet, SC, for three times. Finally end with one slip stitch, SS. Work one chain stitch, CH, first. Work one single crochet, SC, in the first stitch. Mark the first single crochet, SC. In the next stitch, work one increase, INC, which means working two single crochets, SC, in the same stitch. In the next stitch, work one single crochet, SC. One single crochet, SC, one increase, INC, and one single crochet. SC, are finished. One set is done. There are four V shapes on the side. The second set. Work one single crochet, SC, in the next stitch. In the next stitch, work one increase, INC, which means working two single crochets, SC, in the same stitch. In the next stitch, work one single crochet, SC. The second set is done. The third set. Work one single crochet, SC, in the next stitch. In the next stitch, work one increase, INC, which means working two single crochets, SC, in the same stitch. In the next stitch, work one single crochet, SC. Three sets are done. Remove the marker and work one slip stitch, SS, in the first stitch to join this round. Round 4 is done. 
In round 5, start with a chain stitch, ch, and then work 12 single crochets, sc. Finally end with 1 slip stitch, ss. Work 1 chain stitch, ch, first. Then work 1 single crochet, sc, in each stitch. There will be 12 single crochets, sc, in total in this round. Mark the first single crochet, SC, and continue to work single crochets, SC, in the same way. Finish a total of 12 single crochets, SC, in this round. Twelve single crochets, SC, are done. Remove the marker and work one slip stitch, SS, in the first stitch to join this round. Round 5 is done. In round 6, start with one chain stitch, CH. Then work a set of or three single crochets, SC, one increase, I and C, for three times. Finally end with one slip stitch, SS. Work one chain stitch, CH, first. Work three single crochets, SC. Mark the first single crochet, SC, and continue to work two more single crochets, SC. In the next stitch, work one increase, I and C, which means working two single crochets, SC, in the same stitch. Three single crochets, SC, and one increase, I and C, are finished. One set is done. Keep working two more sets. The second set. Work three single crochets, SC. In the next stitch, work one increase, I and C, which means working two single crochets, SC, in the same stitch. The third set. Work three single crochets, SC. In the next stitch, work one increase, I and C, which means working two single crochets, SC, in the same stitch. Three sets are done. Remove the marker and work one slip stitch, SS, in the first stitch to join this round. Round 6 is done. In round 7, start with a chain stitch, CH, and then work 15 single crochets, SC. Finally end with one slip stitch, SS. Work one chain stitch, CH, first. Then work one single crochet, SC, in each stitch. 
There will be 15 single crochets, SC, in total in this round. Mark the first single crochet, SC, and continue to work single crochets, SC, in the same way. Finish a total of 15 single crochets, SC, in this round. Fifteen single crochets, SC, are done. Remove the marker and work one slip stitch, SS, in the first stitch to join this round. Round 7 is done. Stretch the loop and remove the hook. Break yarn, leaving a long yarn tail for sewing. The hat is completed. Now, let's make the fur ball. We'll use red yarn. Wrap the red yarn around your index and middle fingers for 10 times. Then fold the loops in half and tie a knot in the middle to fix them. Use scissors to cut both sides of the loops open.
Finally, trim the yarns into a fur ball. You can trim the yarns according to your preference. Rub the ball with hands to make it fuse together. Please finish the rest part by yourself. The fur ball is completed. Now, let's fix the fur ball. Thread the needle with the yarn tail of the fur ball. Fix the fur ball to the middle of round one of the hat top. Remove the needle. Turn the fabric. Tie a knot with the red and yellow yarn tails. Cut off excess ends. Turn the fabric. The fur ball is fixed on the hat. Thread the needle with the yellow yarn tail. Fold along the slip stitches. Insert hook into the corner of the fabric. The length of the hat string is determined according to the size of the turtle's head.
tie a knot for fixation. Thread the needle with the yarn tail. Conceal the yarn tail inside the fabric and finally cut off excess end. The birthday hat is completed. Finally, put the hat on the turtle's head. The birthday hat is completed.